Hello and welcome, my name is Matthias and welcome to this little how-to guide. In this guide we're going to show you how to set up your dining area in the most effectively way. What do you need, uh, what do you need to do and how? what are your settings going to be? We're going to show you all in just a few seconds. For this guide you need two buildings. You can also do it in one building but I preferly want to because I want to have my cook to have his own house. He's getting pretty happy there and yeah that's kind of it you need a stonemason but you could also do it with a carpenter if you start with the other race the other tribe so let's check on what we need to do first the first thing is we got these two buildings and let's take a look inside to them because I've set some pretty basic stuff up we've got the stone cauldron for the cook We've got one stone chest and another one and I'll explain in a few seconds what you need to do with those and I got a dining hall, just a basic dining hall set up and two finished work shells. You can also do it with one but I preferably do two and I will explain in a few seconds what you need to do with those. First thing first, you'll go to your stockpile or any other place where you got your stuff stockpiled because you need to dis, uh, disable these two icons so that the cooked food and the drinks, you can do it with just the cooked food at the moment but I would do both and put that out so that they won't put the cooked food in this area. I got some more areas set up in the mountain but this, this is it for the moment. Then the second things are these important chests. The first one is for the raw meat and raw cooking ingredients. And the second one is one I forgot and it would cost me a lot of time and it's for the wood because yeah he needs wood to cook. And that's kind of the settings. Then we got these two finished work shells and they only need the cooked food and the drinks. And that's kind of it. And then you've got to look at your cook because your cook needs to cook something he can make. And for my cook that's buck meat kabao. I have set it not on craft right away but maintain in inventory and I set it to 4 but we could also set it to 6 that way we are keeping a good stock and our people will eat right away and my cook will only need to walk to these two boxes and at the moment this one isn't filled yet or at least, yes it is filled, so why are you walking all the way back? I guess not everything is set up right at the moment, but we'll need to give it a little bit of time. Alright, and he's putting in his stuff and he's going to cook it. And he's going to place it on the finished shells and that way when your hardlings get hungry they will move inside, pick something up to their liking and go eat. That way they will be happy. They will be happy and if you make this room even more beautiful they will be well fed. Let's see if we can... my meal was raw so that, that was from before but she does like the beautiful dining and this will slowly go away because I've just set this all up but in the end yeah this is going to be the perfect thing and the only thing you need to set up your dining room if you variate the food it will even get better and better so I hope you guys all enjoyed this uh, little how-to guide and if you do uh, put it in a comment down below if you got any questions or want to see any other how-to guide just put it in the comment down below and then I hope to see you all in the next video of Stoneheart.